It's not really a surprise that the political left in Britain really love censorship. They really love cancel culture. And when it comes to those issues, the Welsh Labour politicians in the so-called Welsh Parliament a while ago decided to censor GB News. Now, what I love is that uh, for the Welsh leftist politicians uh, and Mark Drakeford's minions, GB News, which is a mainstream media channel, it's a corporate-backed media channel, is a little bit scary for them. If that's scary, what do they think of 2CTV? Yeah, of course, they set up this commission to go after anybody that's trying to tell the truth. They will eventually come after us and all the independent channels as well. But for now, as you guys know, they spent a lot of money to censor GB News so that they ban GB News in the Welsh Parliament. We reported this, but now we have the cost. Uh-oh. Yes, they spent almost over around a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah, a quarter of a million pounds, almost, uh, to upgrade the system. The upgrades uh, included software that allows admins uh, to use transmission and internet pro control protocols. The total cost of uh, the upgrades came to £233,000. Uh, the costs included £179,000 on combined IPTV and the digital signage system, hardware and servers, video and audio distribution amplifiers, encoders and, of course, interface equipment is also needed, uh, perpetual licenses, uh, and it, they said that this is just to upgrade our system. Uh, they just happened to also at the same time remove uh, GB News from the list, even though GB News is part of Ofcom, which means they're also part of Freeview, so it's part of the free TV that you already get. You don't have to get a license to watch uh, GB News. It's part of the Freeview, idiots. I call them idiots because they think that we are idiots. So they think that, well, we, we just did that. You know, we didn't, we didn't want GB News. It's, it's not really a cost to the taxpayer. Really? Now, the top Welsh Tory, Andrew Davis, RT Davis, has come out to say, I meant it when I said that, uh, the, that banning GB News was a disgrace that amounted to censorship. It should not have been for the Senate to decide what news people watch. Now we have the eye-watering costs of yet another vanity project coming out of Cardiff Bay that the hard-pressed Welsh taxpayer will be footing the bill for. He continues by saying that instead of spending millions on uh, 36 more politicians, upgrades uh, to the government bunker and a new sensorial TV system, Labour ministers and the Senate Commission should fund our Welsh NHS properly which still has by far the longest wait in the UK. I think it is a good reminder. We already know that about what, 14 years of this Tory government across the UK has uh, made a bit of a mess. You know, we could say that, yeah. It's been completely chaotic over the last couple of years. They don't even know what they stand for. The Conservatives, ignore them. But let's not forget that people who are now willing to vote for Keir Starmer's Labour Party the Labour Party's existing policy has already been implemented in Wales. Look at the Welsh NHS system in general. Look at everything else that they're doing uh, that is completely ruining the economy in Wales and the education system and, of course, now banning TV channels, news channels. This is what you're going to get if Keir Starmer becomes Prime Minister.